Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I am bringing you guys another video for June. This will be up by June 2nd, shortly right after the Dan Tangaway video. And today's video is just going to be a little discussion with two friends of mine in regards to uh, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, The Wrath of Cortex, and Twin Sander, the uh, remaster that a lot of people have been asking for since the Insane Trilogy has touched the surface of the gaming industry and whatnot. And today, um, now note here's a note here uh there may be a little lag with one of the people in this video and also please keep in mind that we're not fucking being contrarian or some shit we're not being some outcast or just negative people in general uh this is just our personal beliefs and opinions if you want to share your thoughts down below you can and what you're seeing here is art uh of me by metal guy 40 and that uh crash commission outline Thing, line art thing by Captain Lardnar. The links to their Twitters will be in the description and whatever. Um, have a new tab, a different tab open while listening because I mean it will be gameplay, but for the most part uh, it'll just be us discussing this and we'll try to make it uh, maximum maybe 20 to 21 minutes or before 20 minutes uh, when talking about this. But okay, so now we're gonna get into the discussion. A lot of people have been asking for a ctr remaster and um first and foremost i am going to be doing this in order so we're not going to discuss like games in the sporadic order but when it comes to crash team racing i'll introduce the other people once i'm done with this one but when it comes to crash team racing um you know i can see why a lot of people will want it but i honestly feel like with the amount of resources that we have today in comparison to uh decades ago um i feel like it would be a lot better if we got a new kart racer something similar to crash team race in 2010 or you know whatever the fuck you want to call it that one castle crash game that looked a lot uh interactive it looked a lot more interesting um it's unfortunate that it got canceled but i feel like you know long story short i just feel like we should have gotten that or something similar to that um we should get something similar to that excuse me uh, instead of just a straight up remake of Crash Team Racing, because if you think about it, um, you know, if you take Mario, and I'm, I'm, I don't mean to draw a drastic comparison or anything, but when you take Mario Kart 64, I don't think a lot of people have been asking for a remake of that game. And, you know, Mario Kart games have been evolving and just having different iterations in the series. And Crash was like that too, with Crash Team Racing, then Crash Natural Kart, then Crash Tag Team Racing. We were going to have a fourth one, but it got canceled in 2010, unfortunately. So the same thing was going to be happening with Crash Bandicoot, except that um, Crash Team Racing 2010 was going to be the fourth entry in the series in terms of the Crash Kart Racer uh, spinoff series segment i guess but i'm gonna leave the rest or most of the rest you know we're all gonna be talking to frat 5107 and destination mark because he's here as well so fred you go first and then mark you go second and y'all could choose what type of games y'all want to talk about in order even though i said we were doing it in order it doesn't really matter just go well i think that instead of remastering old crash games whether it be crash team racing crash bash or twin sanity not even a new racing game right now. Maybe they should just make a new open world crash game because Twin Sanity is very, very underwhelming. And it's kind of a semi open world game. I think we should have an open world crash game that's way better than Twin Sanity. And then maybe after that, come out with a new racing game. Like, I think that would be a much better idea instead of going back into the past and remastering everything. I mean, we already have the trilogy and I think that's fine. I mean, Crash Team Racing is great and all, but like bringing that back when you can just have a brand new racing game that's better than that, I think that's a bad idea. And remastering anything else like Crash Bash, for example, like I see some people are asking for Crash Bash to come back, but Crash Bash is a very obscure game. Like you really think they, they will waste time remastering that. I mean, I think that's a waste of time. And remastering Twin Sanity is also a bad idea because it would take so long. By the time that's done, you won't even have time to have a new Crash game on the PS4. Because, like, that game would take a while to rebuild. And I don't think it's a good idea to go out of their way to get resources for all the removed content from that game. So you'd be better off just having a brand new open world Crash game. And then, like, after that, maybe you could have a brand new racing game. I think that would be a great idea. I think a lot of people would be happy 
to do that. I mean, Twin Sandy didn't sell that well, so I don't. You I mean they can still bring it back on like the PlayStation Store if they want to, but they shouldn't go out of their way to remaster the game because that's a waste of time. I mean, it's not the best crash game out there, you know. But um, yeah, I think that's what they should do. I mean, games like Wrath of Cortex or any of those other PS2 games, they don't need to be remastered. We'll, they can be brought back. We'll to touch the on those. Though. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. we're gonna dig a little deeper into those in a second. Um, you had a lot to say, and I like that. But uh, let's let our sleepy boy here uh, say some things as well. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Um, I actually agree a lot with what you were saying. So I think they should make an original racing game. Um, I actually, on, on the other side of that coin, I actually do like the sound of you know a ctr remastered it's not necessary in yeah. any sense of the word but it would be actually kind of cool it'd be interesting at the very least to kind of see that idea come to fruition but i think what would actually be a better move is instead of yeah remastering everything just make something original that kind of still invokes the classic feeling i mean crash and skylanders was a new ish kind of a thing we haven't seen any kind of rhythm based gameplay for crash in any of his actual games but they did you know build enough to actually invoke that classic feeling with the chili pepper run it essentially it's the boulder chase levels and all that stuff so right. i'm thinking you know will be a good move for them to do next after insane trilogy is either do something similar if they're going to do a racing game maybe yeah something similar to ctr 2010 or just their own original wacky racing game mm -hmm. or if they're going to do a platformer yeah make it like open world but in a way that you know even um, does it better than Twin Sanity, essentially. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so those were their uh, nickels or two cents. And there's something else that I want to add on. It was actually a little Facebook discussion that I had in the comment section of one of the official Verified Crash Bandicoot's Facebook pages, photos they posted. I think it was a Crash 3 post. But uh, a lot of people... You know, someone commented, you know, give us Crash Team Racing Remastered, blah, 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 blah. And then I commented on it. And basically what I said was, I understand that a lot of people love Crash Team Racing to death. It would be cool to see Crash Team Racing coming back. But honestly, if you think about it on the grand scheme of things, this is going to completely contradict the Crash community prior to Crash's comeback in a long ass time. And it's going to bite them in the ass in a sense. Because previously a lot of people... You know, because Activision publishes a lot of Call of Duty games and stuff and, you know, put out a lot of Skylanders merchandise and Skylanders games themselves and, you know, doing what they did to Spyro and all that shit. A lot of people used to, pretty much a lot of people used to state that, oh, Activision is just doing it for the money and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you do this with the Crash Team, if you do this with Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, Twin Sanity and Wrath of Cortex, if you do that. And they're constantly just putting out the essentially the same damn games, but with a new coat of paint slapped onto them. They're going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be milking Crash Bandicoot, but in a different type of way. Call of Duty has different iterations. However, it plays the same. And when when you, I don't know, when you do this to Crash, if, you, if they did that to Crash Bandicoot, Crash would just be known as a series that died for almost 10 years. It comes back and it essentially only came back. Just to have the games from the past get dragged into the present with new technology and all that. So that's what I have to say about, um, you know, just Crash coming back with nonstop remasters. I think that would really be questionable. And, you know, I don't know if this makes any sense, but I was at PAX East 2017 waiting for myself to play the demo with my friend Ivan and Tyrese. And someone behind me was talking about how, like, oh, is that the new Crash Bandicoot? And the other guy was like, yeah, you know, if that's the new Crash, then that's pretty depressing because they're just doing the same thing over and over again. I got really pissed off that he said that because the Insane Trilogy is not really a new game. So, um, you know, I, I think, but, but at the same time, when I think about it now, you know, months after PAX... I, or, uh, yeah, months after PAX, I think, you know, that made a lot of sense, because if Crash did come back and with a new game, actually, and it was just linear, you know, hallway type of gameplay with nothing new to it, um, it would get slammed, like, critically, it would get slammed, and it would be kind of embarrassing, actually, because a lot of people are, you know, this coincides with the Wrath of Cortex thing, if they remade Wrath of Cortex, um, 
it wouldn't be i don't I, I think it would be a insult to remake that game as it is like if it came back as what the fuck it came out to be in the final product that would be very insulting to the crash fan base because we don't deserve that we deserve what the game was initially going to be and that coincides with twin sanity as well wrath of cortex had i mean it's finished but it didn't turn out to be what it was really meant to be it was i, I believe that game was rushed and twin sanity that obviously had a chunk of shit cut out of it and we all know what that game was going to be that was probably going to be the best crash game you know the closest crash game that was hella similar to ratchet and clank i heard because i um because i heard that it was uh it was essentially gonna have a same feeling but travelers tales oxford studios were you know scared of some shit they didn't want to make it too similar or whatever i don't know but um you know, I don't even think that Traveler's Tales even ha still has the damn source code for Twin Sanity or Wrath of Cortex. So doing that would, it would take a lot of time. And again, rewinded back to what Fred said, it would definitely take a lot more time than the original trilogy. Which is why I think that the trilogy is enough to fucking remake rather than... Yeah, it's not like they could just take it and just remaster it in a few months. It would take a while to rebuild that game. Especially if you want the cut content out of it, there's a reason why it's called cut. I mean, if it's gone, if it's cut, it's deleted. It's you know, I don't think Travelers Tales, Oxford or T, -T Tales, whatever division, they don't. I don't think they have the uh, the uh, source code. And I think you said this actually, but um, again, rewinding back to what you possibly said with the whole PS2 PS4 thing, I think it was in this recording or prior to to the recording. Yeah, um, I said that they should port it to PS2 and PS4. That, that would, would make more sense. That would be a lot better. I think that that can apply to Wrath of Cortex as well, to be honest. But Yeah, so you can have more Crash games you can play without going out of your way to remaster the whole damn thing. Right. Hey, uh, Mark, yeah, what do you... That makes more sense. Yeah. Mark, what do you think about um, the whole bring this game back but add online to it? Like, what do you think about that? If there was some kind of, like... Uh, the only... Thing, the only other game I can think of that does something similar to like something I guess the what you're thinking of, of a crash game outside of the multiplayer games like CTR. The other game I would kind of um, use an example is I guess Super Mario 3D World, how it's a platformer, primarily single player. You can play multiplayer, but the only really online uh, online functionality is that you see like the little me characters of the of other players doing the levels All and right. whatnot, and you know something if something like that were to happen with like Crash. I don't know. It's kind of pointless, actually, to be honest. Um, the only way online would work with Crash would be in a game like CTR, or again, like if they did their own original racing game. Yeah. And playing online like Mario Kart, like that would be awesome. Yeah, and again, like if you go back and look at the canceled uh, Crash 2010 racing Crash game footage, which eventually I think turned into that fucking DreamWorks Kart Racer or some shit. But if you look at yeah. the footage of uh, of that game. That sh oh my god, dude! I can't imagine how it would be like if if it was actually well. I can if we got a visual representation for it, but I think it would be like really, really uh, one of those. I th I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it because it's it, you know it never came to be and never came out, so we can't really get a full uh, uh, idea of what the game really is. I don't really know. All we know is that it was going to be a fucking crash racing game. That's really all we know. But if, if we got a new crash racing game that was something like that with online, I think it could... It, it, I th ugh, holy shit. I do think that it could work. But um, with when it comes to Bash and CTR online, though, um, you essentially just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I To me, it's just strange. Reaching. Yeah, I think it's just reaching essentially you know uh you see old games come back with the new coat of paint on them and then you want the next to come back you know it's like and what's scary about this is that we don't know like when people will actually ask if uh you know we'll get a new crash game or whatever because if you hear about five crash games getting remastered and then you hear people talking about it or talking to each other and then some one guy intervenes is like hey did you hear about a new crash game like what they have a new crash game like an actual new crash game they're like no but they did bring back the uh the old games or some shit like that and 
I mean, that's gonna be a it. Bunch of people also reaching about the Spiral remaster just because Crash got remastered. Uh, that's uh, yeah. We're gonna save that for another video, actually. Well, <laughs> you know, whenever I have I have thoughts about that. Yeah, whenever we could talk about that. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen. Um, I don't think people should base Crash's success. I mean, yeah, base Spyro's um possible return. Okay, no, no, no. I don't think people should base uh Crash's trilogy. I don't even know how to fucking say it. Just because Crash is getting an answer. Basically, Crash and Spyro are not completely related to each other. Like, just because Crash returns in the remaster doesn't mean Spyro's getting one. Especially when Spyro will take a lot longer to make than Crash. Yeah. I think Spyro actually stopped yeah, at would... Shadow Legacy. That's the oh, sixth sorry. Spyro game, chronologically speaking. But yeah, what were you about to say? But all I was going to say was, um, I would only anticipate a Sparrow remaster yeah not, solely not based off of Crash's popularity because again that would just be ridiculous but only because I feel like he kind of deserves it after the whole Skylanders thing but again that's more of my opinion than anything I feel else, it so. no I understand I understand because it has been a while um but yeah back to the subject at hand um <sighs> look man if y'all want Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity remastered or in glorious HD, uh, either play it, emulate it, or, you know, wait for Activision to put Wrath of Cortex into Insanity on the PS2, PS4 section. And when it comes to the whole CTR and Crash Bash with online, um, uh, I don't know, like, you're just bringing games back, over all of these games, actually, you're bringing these games back along with their flaws, you're not actually fixing them, you know, if you're gonna fix Twin Sanity, if you're gonna remaster Wrath of Cortex, you're gonna put in the shit that was missing from the game, or you're gonna make it how it was intended to be, but if you bring it back as it is, you're just repeating history, but in HD, and new textures, and new coat of paint, or whatever, that's it. Right, you're like, not giving it a chance to grow. Off. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not letting it blossom, pretty much, to what it was truly going to be. Holy shit! Is there anything else y'all two have to say? Because I think we, I think we did it pretty well with this whole thing. I don't have much else to say. Well, all I have to say is I want to see something new. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what all three of us can agree to. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, again, uh, thank you, Fred and Mark, for joining in on this discussion. Um, initially, I didn't want to do this video, but it was getting a little too like. If you if you go on Google and search up Crash Team Racing, the first thing that pops up is Crash Team Racing PS4, and that's good. It's cool, and it says a lot. It speaks a lot of volumes. There's a high demand for it, but again like the crash community is kind of already like demanding enough but it's hard to tell because you know a lot of crash fans are very uh um they, they really like the originals over all of the non naughty dog crash games but then you also have the casual gamers that don't really know about the ps2 crash games or you know ps2 era of crash but just because they've seen the PS1 games, which are probably the only ones they played, they're going to want CTR and Bash remastered as well. So that's what makes this very difficult. I only did this video solely because on the Crash Bandicoot's YouTube channel, they uploaded this fucking Crash 3 trial video. And I scrolled down the comment section like a fucking idiot when I, sh when I shouldn't have. And I saw somebody commenting about Twin Sanity, CTR, and Bash. They didn't mention Wrath of Cortex, but I did throw that in just because... Um, in this discussion just because you know it's it's a part of the ps2 era and shit so yeah oh man so yeah this has been me it's been fred 5107 and it's been destination mark mark didn't lag as much he lagged a tiny bit but it was very clear as to what he was you know we can make out what he was trying to what, what he was saying and uh yeah the man could finally sleep now and fred could go back to doing what he was doing and i can continue to doing whatever the fuck i was doing <sighs> so yeah that's been it you two can say your goodbyes and yeah yep you so take care all right that's gonna be it thanks for watching and uh you know where to catch us all right peace <laughs> <laughs>